Hey y'all, Dr. D here. I am out here waiting um, as I get some routine maintenance done on my car. And you know, my mind's always going. So I'm sitting here thinking about uh, <laughs> my first car and all that good stuff, jazz. And my first car, my dad bought my first car. And I remember one of the lessons he taught me is make sure you get the maintenance done on the car. Now I didn't listen right away. I had to uh, kind of uh, break down a couple of times before I got the message that dad tried to teach me. But I was really thinking about the, the big lessons that my, my mom and dad taught me. And the biggest lesson that my dad taught me was to show up as a parent. My, um, my parents divorced when I was about five years old. And, you know, I know a lot of black fathers in the black community don't show up, okay? My dad showed up. He showed up um, and he showed up not just to pick us up and spend time with us, he showed up as a parent that recognized that two parents working together was much better than one parent working on their own. And so any decisions that my dad wanted to make regarding me and my brother, um, my, my dad did that in conjunction with my mother. He did not make decisions unless my mother okayed it. And when I said okayed it, they had conversations. Um, he respected and valued my mother's opinion because we lived with her full time. She had full custody. Um, and that taught me a lot. He was our, my biggest cheerleader. He still is at almost 70 years old, but he taught me to show up as a parent and, um, you know, be there for your kids and demonstrate to them what it means to work as best you can with the other parent, even if it doesn't work out between the two of them. And mom, <laughs> um, mom, oh my God, the lioness that she is, my mother, was a hard worker and she taught me work ethic. That's why I'm always on my grind. My mother always had three jobs. My mother who is now uh, 70 years old, still works um, and at a, probably her early thirties, she began having her own business um, and businesses actually. And those businesses, I watched her work and she made us work them. But she didn't just work the business and collect a dollar. What she did was show me not tell me, she showed me what good work ethic was. I remember when she first started her catering business, we burnt some of the food and we were trying to cover it up so that you know it, we could still serve it without the people seeing that it was burnt. And my mother said, we're not giving them that. And we're like, wow, mom, that's good food. And my mother shared with us, no, I'm not giving someone something that I wouldn't eat. And so, from that moment on, I learned, uh, you know, she had other dialogue with it, but I learned to give people my best, um, to give people my best and show up every single time. So thanks mom. Thanks dad. You guys go and crush your day.